Hi, my name is Mark Kispe. My name is Morlan Ruiz. And this is our robot we made for Applied Robotics. Uh, we'll just probably just cut from there. The main objective of this uh, project is uh, to make this robot uh, whose uh, main objective is to use the OpenCV camera while also uh, avoiding and navigating through uh, different obstacles uh, while using the ultrasonic sensors that we have installed here and while using the OpenCV as well. So before we get to um, demonstrating how the robot's going to actually function, we wanted to just go over the individual components of the robot to show how each individual part works. Um, and then at the end, we'll have uh, the whole thing working as one uh, unit. You know this? Uh, well, we don't need to use that. I have all of the components too. Yeah, but that'll be in the wiki. That's what I'm going to use that for. So here we're just demonstrating everything here. Okay. Uh, so we're going to start talking about the components? Yeah, well, alright, so I guess we'll go with... Um, First the wheels are going from top to bottom. How the wheels are working? I mean, the components, right? That we use in mechanical wheels. Yeah, I'm going to demonstrate how they're working. Okay. <coughs> the engine for each wheel. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so, how did you want to talk about that one really quick? Do you want to talk about that? Okay. Or what are you gonna say? I mean, just the components, right? Name it. Yeah. So we have the mechanical wheel. We got engine for each wheel. Okay. So you're gonna have, have to say that. You're gonna sensor. Say, you're gonna have to say that loud. Okay. We have what? What else we have? We have the. We're using the a Raspberry Pi. The computer. The Raspberry Pi. The H reach. The LM2556, right? 2596, mm -hmm. which is this, I don't know what we use that for. Don't mention that. Okay, it's H bridge, uh, separate batteries for. Three separate batteries, one for the arm, one for this. Just go one by one. Don't, don't worry about the whole thing. It was the first thing you're gonna talk about. Okay. 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 okay, now we're going to mention the parts that um, is in this robot. We have the mechanical wheels and we have engine for each mechanical wheel. We have the ultrasonic sensors, which is four of them. We have an H-bridge. We have the Raspberry Pi as a computer. And we have four servo motors for the arm and the open CV camera. Uh, we also have uh, an LCD display here that's uh, displaying all the different measurements for the, um, the ultrasonic sensors so we can uh, see exactly how um, the distances are changing uh, the direction of the mechanism wheels and we have on the H bridge here, we made our a PCB board with a bunch of different connections as well with um, uh, ground and power to um, connect everything all together from the Pi to the wheels and for the arms as well. And also, uh, forget to mention the we using separate um, batteries, three different batteries for that. 
Yeah, so we have one battery that's connected that's going to be uh, powering for the Raspberry Pi. We have another battery that's installed right here so it can control um, the servos. And we have another battery um, and the bottom here inside of the, uh, the frame that's controlling the mechanism wheels as well. Uh, the reasoning behind that is when we were actually going through the process of this, we initially only had two batteries uh, for the whole thing, but it wasn't strong enough for the wheels and the servo as well for the arm. So we had to get a third power source in order for everything to work correctly. Because if we had only the two, um, it was draining too much power um, from the arm and it wouldn't either wouldn't last that long or it would just completely drain and the arm wouldn't function properly. All right, so that's good. Yeah. All right, so we'll just show it working really quick. <coughs> okay. So so Okay, so we're just going to uh, plug in some of the powers for it right now. We're just going to show it um, uh, some of the uh, components working individually and then once we just demonstrate that we'll show the whole um, robot doing its thing already after. Okay, so we have everything connected already. Um, for the wheels, we have it here already connected for the servos. So we already have the Raspberry Pi here on screen and we'll show how the wheels are gonna be working with the four sensors here in the front. So right now we have everything moving forward. Uh, because nothing's blocking the sensors, so it has the, the command to just keep going that way. So Mordon's going to block the two sensors on his side, and then you'll see the mechanism wheels are going to change direction that way. So showing on the screen now, the, um, we have the robot is going to be turning left, and it's displaying that here on the screen for the Pi. So if he moves his hands, should redirect now we're going forward again and then vice versa if I do it on my side so now it's moving the opposite way on both sides and it's displaying that it should be moving right and now Morlan puts his hands in the front for all of them being blocked off it'll come to a stop and also it's displaying all this on the LCD as well. So if we can just move this. Uh, it might be a little bit harder to see right here. Uh, but we do have the numbers uh, shifting uh, for the distances on the LCD as well. Okay, um, let's move it back. And then uh, we'll try to get the arm to work.
So now we have it uh, demonstrating here with the open CV connected with the wheels and the LCD. And we have the camera footage being displayed up here. So our project was to have um, it be able to detect these yellow blocks um, and uh, pick them up and keep moving. So we have it here by the camera. Test it again, just the arm. Okay. Um, testing what we did the other day, like with the numbers. Stop fidgeting. No, it's on the side, the right side, the top one. Yeah. Yeah. 